what is going on guys? It is the Beast Pokeballer here as always and welcome to the next live Wi-Fi battle on the channel guys. Sorry today is, is one day late. I was just kind of busy this week. Uh, but today guys we're going to have a live OU battle against my friend Chris. He's one of my mods on twitch.tv slash the Beast Pokeballer. Come check it out and follow Chris on Twitter in the link in the description. Now we're bringing the same team as the last battle guys. I really really enjoy this team. We're going to music 21 because it's overrated. Uh, but yeah, this is the one with the Mega Metagross, the Lifedorb Latias, the Leftovers uh, Rotom Watch, the Leftovers Clefable, and let me just tell you, Clefable is a monster. The Itemless, um, what is this thing called? <laughs> I always, Talonflame, I don't know why I forget such a relevant Pokemon's name. The Itemless Talonflame with Acrobatics, Bulk Up, and this thing eats hits, man, I swear this thing eats hits. Like, if it's not a rocket, it probably won't kill, that's a lie. But still, it's really good. Um, and then lastly, we have the Scarf Keldia, which is also just a god. Um, we might do some little, like, me and my friend Tabes who helped me build this team might do a little bit fixing up to it to make it a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, right now it's looking pretty good. Still no fire move, which is kind of bad, but we got that double will wisp which is nice. So, let's go ahead and see what Chris has for us today. We're going to take a picture of his team. What is he going to get? What is he going to get? He's got a Dragonite, that's scary, a Haxorus. A, oh god, what's that thing called? Uh, <laughs> Star Raptor, yes, Dallas Star Raptors, a hashtag plug, a Floatzel, um, a Rotom fan, and a Superior. That's a very diverse team. He has a huge ice weakness. Lucky for him, I don't have a single ice type move. Uh, I think the best, 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 best thing for me to lead off with here is probably going to be the Rotom, uh, just because the electric coverage is going to be nice. So we'll do that. Uh, and yeah, that, that seems like a good idea. Uh, well, let's see, actually. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. What's scary is the superior, to be honest, but we have two forms of priority on the team with Bullet Punch on the Metagross and the Talonflame, of course. So if it has Sash, which I doubt it even does, like, art. I kind of actually want to leave with Talonflame. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Let's leave with Talonflame and see how that goes. But yeah, we should be able to break his Sash if he's using it. I know not a lot of people use Sash um, superior. I do, because I think it's amazing, but whatever. That's just me. Uh, but yeah, how's your guys, guys day going? New Smash DLC came out. Who got that? I did. It's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, he's going to start out with Young Nim, which is going to be the Rotom. We're going to start with our Town Flame, actually. Uh, our Rotom would have been definitely a better thing to start with. Uh, so we're going to have to switch out here. He might throw out the Will-O-Wisp, um, but I know whatever attack he's going to throw up, Clefable will be able to eat it really nicely. So I'll go ahead and switch into Clefable. Maybe he's scarfed, scarfed Air Slash, possibly, like, that That could be a thing. I think Scarfed Rotom Fan is a thing. He might go for the Volt Switch. No, he's going to go for the Electro Ball. That's actually a really weird move to use competitively. But that's okay. That does a ton of damage. That's actually super smart. Wow. Electro Ball's new meta. There we go. Um, what I'm going to do here is actually just uh, Soft Boiled. I don't want to, like, die or anything. Uh, so he might switch. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to switch. All right, so we get the free Soft Boiled. That's good. Uh, I didn't want to go down too much damage with Clefable, because Clefable's a god. And he's going to send in Slurry Derp. That's a YouTuber, isn't it? I believe so. Friends with, like, Duncan Deep. Uh, but we're going to do the soft button. That's going to get us back to full health, which is really cool. Now, this thing's definitely physical. Um, so I'm going to switch into the Rotom, knowing that I can probably eat whatever he has. Like, what? Water attacks. He gets, like, Waterfall, Aqua Jet. Uh, and then, like, Ice Punch. I don't think he gets uh, Thunder Punch. And even if he does, that won't do too much. So Rotom's definitely the best switching we have for this right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. I think I actually forgot to take a picture of the team. I like even pulled out my camera. Yeah, I did. Nice. Uh, did I? Did I? Yeah, I did. Shoot. <laughs> um, but yeah, Aqua Jet's gonna do nothing to us. That's really good. Uh, he, no, he's Life Orb. Okay, that's cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is just throw out the. Uh, I'm gonna predict a switch. I don't know into what. Maybe the Haxorus to eat the uh, thing. Eat the uh, Volt Switch. So I'm going to just throw out this Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp hoping to hit something. Even if it's a special attacker, you know, damage is damage. Uh, Will-O-Wisp will help bring them down. Sorry if I... Oh, crunch. I didn't know it gets that. That's cool. Uh, but this Will-O-Wisp should really shut it down for the most part. Oh, we get the defense drop. That's actually not good. If we miss, we're actually in trouble. Come on, Rotom. Rotom! What? What the heck is Water Veil? What the heck is a Water Veil? I never have seen that ability ever. Oh, my God. So that's no good. Uh, I should have Volt Switched. Now, I could probably live another one, but I, I don't want to risk it. Look at those 9,012 eggs hatched. I'm a legend. Uh, when it comes to Crunch, I'm really I'm really digging the Clefable thought. But I hate to switch back into that. I'll stay in. 
I don't think he'll be able to kill. Volt Switch will be good. Seems Pursuit. Alright, cool. That was, that's good. Pursuit, that's a nice move. I like the wrong Pursuit on my... Oh, what's it called? Haunch Crow. Yeah. Alright, so that's gonna take him out. I'm pretty sure this uh, Floatzel is pretty, pretty frail, so that's awesome. Uh, so that's taking him down. Uh, Rotom's gonna come back, and I think it's uh, safe to say that we can go into... We have nothing else with switch priority. Why don't we go into Metagross? See what he brings out to fight the Metagross. If you go into Haxorus, which would be a problem, because he might stop Dragon Dances, predicting us switching out on the Earthquake. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, we didn't get to use Metagross or Latias uh, last battle, so I'll try my hardest to include them this time. Because I do really enjoy those two Pokemon. Especially Metagross. Metagross is a legend, for reals. Also, I just found out news that uh, Mega Gyarados and Alakazam got moved down to UU, and that's just huge, dude. That is awesome. You know, I don't care too much about Mega Gyarados. Like, it's not my favorite Mega or anything. I have one in my box, so maybe I'll use it. Uh, but yeah, there's the Haxorus. Um, but, like, Alakazam, I loved using that thing in UU before it got moved up, so I'm really excited. So, next UU battle, you guys are expecting a, um, one of them. Uh, Alright, this thing gets knockoff, doesn't it? We'll go into Talonflame. I think that's our safest bet. Possibly. No. Ugh. 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 Uh, yeah, let's go into Talonflame. Mm hmm. Ugh, dude, I really want to go into Rotom. Rotom might be safer. Let's go into Rotom. Thing is, Rotom's at kind of low health at the moment. So that's kind of scary. Uh, but yeah, dude, Alakazam is really good. If you guys don't know, like, you can give it a Focus Sash. Uh, because it has, uh, Magic Guard, the same ability as Clefable. But yeah, it's gonna go. Oh, it kills some Dragon Dance. Ew. Uh,. And that ability is really good paired with the Focus Sash because, like, you don't take damage from rocks or poison or anything. So, the only thing that can break it is an actual attack. Anyways, we'll go for the Will O Wisp. He's gonna Dragon Claw. We should be able to eat it. It's not gonna kill. I know it's not gonna kill. I know it's not gonna kill. There we go. Don't miss. Alright, boys. I wanna switch out because I want this thing to stay alive. You know why? Because we can pain split something on a switch in. <sighs> or we can use it to sack off later. Um, if you can go for Dragon Claw again, I'll go to Clefable. I know it probably gets Poison Jab, but I'm assuming we'll be able to eat it pretty well. Water Veil. I wonder what that does. I'm an idiot for not knowing that. I guess I've never really battled Float Souls before. Can't blame me, can't blame me. I need to mess around with UU a little bit more. So he's gonna go for the Dragon Dance. I could have gone for the Pain Splant. That sucks, but um But regardless, I'm not really that afraid to just fire off a Moonblast here. Like even up he's only at neutral and Clefable has pretty nice defense. So we should be able to eat it up nicely. Or he may not even be able uh he may not even be carrying the poison jab, who knows? Could have possibly been a good turn to go up for rocks, but again, like I don't want to play, I don't want to make any over predictions because I tend to do that a lot. Two things that I really, yeah, he does have poison that thing. Two things I tend to do a lot are over predict. Oh, that's a lot. Over predict, and I also lose my mega early on. Like you guys have seen uh, in the previous battle uh, against Happy, I lost my Swampert like turn two, like that or turn three, I think. Like that's not good. That's not a good thing. Uh, anyways, leftover is gonna bring us above half, so hopefully he won't go into something super good, and we'll be able to get off his soft boiled or play some shenanigans with it. He's gonna go into Dragonite. That's kind of weird, actually. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have rocks up, which sucks. But definitely the best play to do here would 100% be to Thunder Wave it. Yeah, that will kind of help shut it down a little bit because you know this thing is kind of a threat. Um, and I know you know he has the multi scale. Um, so that's gonna mess us up, but you know, Thunder Wave will really help. If he has Lumberry, then we'll just do it next turn, I guess. There's no way he's gonna be able to take us out. Uh, but he's probably weakness palsy. Yeah, cool. So, so what if Dragonite got Shed Skin? That'd be kinda useless, because multi scale's much better. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire off the Moonblast this time. Maybe he'll get paralyzed and we'll get lucky. We'll be able to take him out next turn. Come on, Hacks, come through. Weakness palsy, yep, yep, yep. Iron Head. Oh no! Clefable! My baby! That's okay. 
Uh, because we have Latias, which will be able to easily take him out. Finally, Latias makes her debut. That's nice. Uh, no reason not to just fire off a Draco here. Our Psyshock? Yeah, Draco. Don't miss. Don't, don't you miss. Don't you? Yeah. Oh, let me see that animation. I love it. That's a thumbnail right there. Yeah, there's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> Our special attacks can go down, but that's a huge offensive threat down out of the field already, which is good. That's good. That's good. We're playing this game safe. We're doing it good, guys. Um, we're going to probably have to switch out just because, you know, I, I don't want my... Uh, ooh, scary. I don't want my, uh, I don't want to lose my Latias. So what I'm going to do here is go into Talonflame. Knowing I can eat up pretty much any hit this thing wants to throw at me turn one without the special tag raise. A plus two Dragon Pulse will probably take me out. Uh, but you know, I, I'm certain I can live a Leaf Storm, and then with the priority, uh, Acrobatics, I'll be able to take it down to at least its Sash, if not, Oko it. So, let's go for the Oko. Kinda predict the switch and use the bulk up, but then again, might not, it's not always worth it to play like that. Did he bring a Mega? I don't think he did. He's gonna withdraw, that's fine. Uh, what's he gonna go into, though? Young Nim, isn't that what he let off with? The Rotom Fan. Acrobutics. Can do I still really good damage, really, honestly. This down flame is a monster. Uh, right here, uh, honestly, I'm just going to sack the Rotom. We don't need it too much. Uh, and I just want to safe switch. Because this thing really isn't a threat. This Rotom really isn't a threat. I could take it out easily. Um, but there's just no need to like make some risky like crit switch. Um, it's probably going to take us out, yeah. I am 100% fine with that, really. Um, that's two of our most defensive Pokemon down, our special defense and our defensive tank. But again, like really, I don't even care that much. Uh, so he's using Air Slap. I'll just go into Metagross. Um, and even though I resist it, you know, we should be able to do really good damage. Wait, oh no, Zen Headbutt should be able to hit it really hard. Yeah, I forgot I had Zen Headbutt. I thought I had Ice Punch, which would have been better. Uh, but we'll Mega Evolve and hit him with that Zen. If he's scarfed, then either way, that's still, like, he's going to have to switch out, like, air slash angle and do nothing. Uh, it's probably not going to flinch, you know. <sighs> yeah, they should give Rotom Fed a new ability. There's no reason for it to have Levitate. Honestly, that's so stupid. <laughs> does it even get Roost? Oh, if it got a Roost, that'd be pretty cool. I don't think it does. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and hit that mega. Oh, he might have Will O Wisp, yo. Alright, we should be able to Oko it. Unless it's like some. Or not Oko, we should be able to K KO it. Um, oh, he's gonna go for Yeah, so he's scarfed. So, like, yeah, he's gonna have to. That did a ton of damage! What the heck? Um, yeah, so he's gonna have to sack it here. Uh, that's gonna definitely take it down for sure. Tough Claws boosted, Mega Metagross. One of the best Megas in OU. Honestly, if you guys haven't used Mega Metagross, you, you have to. I was gonna send out Poke Date. Which is going to be a Star Raptor. I'm not even afraid of this thing. I'm just going to stay in. I'm going to Meteor Mash. Or I should just send head, but it has the same accuracy, right? Let me check. Check my moves. Meteor Mash has 90. Send head, but has... Oh, okay. So Meteor Mash actually does more damage. I didn't know that. I thought it did actually less. But that's cool to know. Sorry for my, uh, my bad knowledge of Pokemans. I try. Do a ton of damage, almost taking it out. He's gonna go for the U-turn. Uh, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna do a ton. What the heck? Critical hit, uh, of course. Uh, I'd rather not lose Metagross, to be completely honest. Rather wouldn't. What's his last Pokemon again? Superior. Yeah, that's scary. But at this point, literally just switching into Talonflame seals the deal. On, I could honestly stay in. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in and I'm go I should hammer arm because like I think the accuracy is better. I'll just meteor mash. Did we get the attack race? That's not gonna take us out. And we have bullet punch. Don't don't you miss, don't you dare miss. Ugh, you're kidding. Alright, so what we have to do here is actually bullet punch. But uh Talonflame should be able to seal here. 
Wow, that did over half. Ah, critical hit. Dude, the crits are insane. They're everywhere. Um, but he's gonna get a special attack raise once more. But, ah, uh, yeah, Talon Flames gonna be able to end this off here with some acrobatics. Uh, so that should be a game. I think we just sealed the win in about 13 minutes. That's pretty cool. Um, we didn't use Keldeo today. There's always, like, one Pokemon we don't use when we win. <laughs> it's weird. Like, that Porygon, that one battle. Uh, but yeah, acrobatics is the thing to use. Should be enough to, uh, definitely take out this superior massive damage coming up there we go yeah if you guys uh haven't tried this uh acrobatics talent flame out yet definitely give it a try instead of brave bird um it doesn't get an item which is the only thing that like sucks uh but other than that it's so good like bulk up um bruce to reheal and then will Wisp for support and then it dude it eats hits it, there, it has a lot of uh, evs into its defense and hp and not that much into its attack still a little bit into its attack I don't remember the exact EV spread, but if you guys really want it in the comments, I'll put it in the comment. Uh, if you guys ask, I'll do that. But yeah, Acrobatics will seal up the deal here. Um, and that's the battle, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Remember to Hydro Cannon that like button for me. Follow Chris on Twitter. And I actually need you guys to do me a favor here. I should have said this in the beginning of the video. I want you guys to follow me on Google+. Now, you guys are probably thinking like, dude, that's Google+. It's so irrelevant. I really want to get YouTube verified. There's no reason to get it other than that I want it, but I really want to get YouTube verified. And it will just help me out a ton. We need a thousand followers on Google+. Plus. I don't know how I'm going to manage that, uh, considering I only have like a hundred or a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Uh, but, you know, we're going to get there eventually. I guess it won't be right away, but I, I, I want to get the verification. Uh, I, want, I want to get YouTube verified. I really do. I think that that'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, let the outro roll.